All right, just left work. Have about a two and a half hour drive to Hughesville, Pennsylvania to pick up my new Dell R720. Uh, looks like there's no traffic. Should just be uh, straight highway driving. So shouldn't be too bad. Here's the new Dell R720 in the rack. So there's the old one down there. This is the new one I just picked up. Um, so yeah, the plan is to use this uh, for my TrueNAS server. Um, so currently I have my TrueNAS running inside of a VM, inside of Proxmox VM on that machine. I wanna just run TrueNAS on bare metal just to get some better performance. Um, so I picked this server up, got a really good deal on it. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna just take this cover off here. Um, so it didn't come with any drives and there are a few missing drive caddies. And these caddies are just like dummy placeholders. So I'm gonna to need to buy a couple more actual drive caddies. So I actually ordered those already on Amazon. Um, so the first thing I'm gonna do is um, boot this up, just check out the settings, check out the RAM um, and probably update the driver driver and BIOS firmware. Um, so let me just power this on for the first time. Um, <clears throat> so I have it plugged in to the VGA, just plugged into this TV up here. Let me go ahead and plug in that keyboard that I have up there. I'm just freehanding this video with an iPhone today. So plug that in. I believe this came with 64 gigs of RAM, so I'm just gonna just gonna confirm that. And again, there's no bootable drive in it right now, so we're just gonna get into the BIOS menu. So let's head in. I think F2 is what I want to hit. Uh, F2. Yep, it already says entering system setup up there because I just hit F2. Hopefully this iPhone footage is okay. Um, didn't feel like cooking up the camera today. All right, so let's check out system BIOS. Let me get this in focus. System BIOS, system information. So that's the BIOS version. I have no idea if that's the latest, but I'm, I'm just gonna run the updater anyway, because uh, there might be other things that need to be upgraded. Uh, memory settings, so there we go, 64 gigs. DDR3, um, 133 megahertz is the speed. That's cool. So this has 64. This other, part of the reason I got another R720 was because this one has 192 gigs of RAM. So if I need more RAM in this one, I can just swap it and take it from, just steal it from that one. But I think 64 gigs should be fine for, for right now for TrueNAS. Um, processor. Um, so that's the processor, Xeon E5-2640. There's two of them. Uh, it doesn't really mean much to me. I did look it up. The other R720 I have is a 2660, which is apparently a little bit better, but uh, this is fine for TrueNAS. And then the other one will be just all for virtual machines. Um, okay, cool. So let me go make that bootable drive. And then next we will boot this up and boot from the USB drive and run the uh, installers. The updater. All right, so let's go ahead and make that uh, bootable ISO that's going to update the R720. So I actually need to head on to one of my Windows um, virtual machines because the software, uh, I don't think they have it on Mac. So yeah, last time I did this, I just did it on Windows. So it's pretty cool. You can just, I have a USB stick literally plugged into my server, my R720 that runs Proxmox, and I'm passing through the USB stick to this particular VM. And now I have access to the USB stick. And this is from when I updated my R220. Uh, so we're just gonna overwrite this and make the uh, make it for the R720. Um, so we just need to open up the Dell EMC repository manager. And 
there's a new update, but I don't want to get the update. And I'm not going to go into too much detail about how to do this. Um, there, I'll point you to some other YouTube videos that uh, help me figure this out. But basically, uh, yeah, I kind of forget how to do this myself. But we're going to have to, I guess, add a repository. And let's just make it. Uh, see, this is from when I did the R210. Let's just call this R720. Uh, franchise. One, two, three. I just like adding my name to things so I know that I made it, not just like a computer. That's why I have a bunch of like eyes there. Uh, okay, so I guess that base catalog looks good. Um, custom, select, choose systems. All right, power edge. Now let's look for the R720. Getting closer, 720 right here. Okay, we we'll just add that, and save. Uh, let's see here. Okay, that's fine. Click add. Okay, so let me click on this. I think we just need to export. Maybe I have to check it first. Yeah, export. Uh, smart bootable ISO. Yeah, so I think this is just going to spit out an ISO file, and then we need to... Yeah, that's the one from when I did it last time. Then we're going to need to... Um, burn it to the USB stick. So let's just put it right there on my desktop. And click export. Okay, I think if we check here, uh, deployment job started, successfully created. All right, so it should be just on the desktop now. Yep, right. Is that it? No, that's not it. Maybe it hasn't been created yet. Oh, I think I think it's still doing something. See the progress bar there? Oh yeah, this is from when I just made the repository earlier, not from the export. Okay, there we go. So it's definitely still running. Still at 5%. All right, I'm gonna pause this. Oh, there we go. Looks like it just finished. Uh, okay, completed successfully. And there we go. That's the old one, that is the new one. Okay, so now we need to use, I think Rufus, what did I use last time? Let's see, I might have that in my downloads from last time. Yeah, here we go. All right, so that's the device. It's called CD-ROM, but that's a USB drive. Uh, let's leave that, okay. Yeah, let's now browse to the desktop and grab this guy. Is that the same name as the other one? Just making sure, yeah, okay. Uh, I'm just going to leave everything default and start it. Shouldn't take too long. All right, it has finished. So let me close this. All right, so I'm plugging in the USB stick now. This has the um, updater on it. So it says configuring memory, we're gonna hit um, F11 this time. 
to get into the boot menu instead of the uh, my system setup. Got my finger on F11. All right, F11, entering BIOS boot manager. All right, initializing firmware interfaces. <clears throat> While this is booting up, I'll just show you the plan. So the plan is to install this 256 uh, gigabyte solid state drive in one of these bays, like right there. This will be what we install TrueNAS directly onto. And then the plan is to remove these three drives, which are each five terabytes. So 15 total terabyte, we'll remove these three, which has my TrueNAS uh, pool on it, and we're just gonna plug and play, hopefully, into these three locations. So the plan is to install TrueNAS, restore the config from this TrueNAS, plug in those three drives, which makes up the pool, and then hopefully the new TrueNAS install um, recognizes the pool. That is the plan. Um, shouldn't be too tricky. Uh, this thing is still uh, thinking, collecting system inventory. <clears throat> but yeah, like I said, I don't have any drive caddies to put in here now, so I'm gonna have to wait. I really only need one for that solid state drive because I'm pulling the three from here, but I don't have one for the, uh, to, to install TrueNAS on too, so gotta wait until tomorrow they uh, should arrive here. Okay, so we don't want to continue normal boot. We want to go to the BIOS boot menu. Scanning for devices. Yeah. All right, we want to go to the hard drive C and front USB. So that front USB is referring to that, which has the Dell updater software on it. So let's hit enter here. Okay, so Dell bootable ISO options. We want option one, which is the bootable ISO CD. Let me just make sure you can read all that. Oh, I think it automatically booted because I took too long. So yeah, boot option one after 10 seconds. So that's what it's doing right now. And this should just, you know, check all the software patches and drivers that need to be updated. So let's keep an eye on what it's actually doing here. Hopefully, you know, it finds something it needs to update. Otherwise it's just a waste of time, but I just wanted to, wanted to run this because it's kind of all I can do now until I get the uh, drive caddy. Okay, uh, let's do something. Enter passphrase for encrypted config file. I have no idea what that would be. Why does it? Hmm. Let's see here, let me just hit enter. Hmm, that was weird. It looks like it, that bypass is just hitting enter, getting a system inventory. So now it's basically, I believe, just kind of scanning to see what versions of stuff exists. And then it's going to compare it to what it, what the latest version is. Okay, no applicable updates available. So that's good. That's good to know. Um, you know, now everything is up to date or it was up to date. So I guess whoever owned this before kept it up to date. Uh, but yeah, just good to know. So I'm just going to go ahead and unplug this. And I believe it's rebooting now. Um, and yeah, once I get the new drive caddies, we'll go ahead and install the drives and get TrueNAS installed.